Hello， 大家好，诶，我系 Sue Margery， 多谢你收睇我嘅 Little Cantonese Corner。今日二零一九年三月八号星期五。So today it is March 8 2019. It's a Friday here in Hong Kong, and we are talking about clothes shopping. Okay. So when you go clothes shopping in Hong Kong, um, let's assume that you're not bargaining, you're not in the markets, you're going to be in a, a regular shop looking、uh, to buy clothes. And what you'll hear when you usually walk into a shop、uh, is going to be. 欢迎光临，欢迎光临 is like welcome. May I help you? May I help you is 有乜嘢帮到你？有咩帮到你？有咩帮到你 is May I help you?、Uh, so let's take a look at that real, real,、uh, real quick. The 欢迎光临 is nothing that you're really going to be saying. It's just a greeting when you're welcomed into a shop, when you're welcomed into a tea house, a clothing store. You will hear this. Um, and may I help you? As you know, is yao mo is, or、uh, well, actually, it's not yao mo. Yao have right? Yao mat ye have what? Bong is help. Bong do is I'm, I'm able to help you. I can help you. Yao me bong do lei lei is you. Yao me bong do lei is may I help you? Okay. Now we're gonna assume the first one you're gonna say is I'm I'm just looking. Thanks. Okay, I'm just looking. And I'll tell you how soon. I'm going. So, 我睇下睇下先，唔該。I know if I turn my face, like you can't hear me, so I have to remember to kind of face you guys and speak and then look. Or else I'll just use my finger, but I can't really see what I'm pointing at. But I think here, 誒，我睇睇下。Now the 下 it means a little while or a little bit. 睇 as you should know is look at or see. So 誒，我睇下。I'll take a look. Is I'm gonna take a little look.、Uh, I'm going. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I forgot the scene. I'll take a look first. Scene is first. Okay. So literally, it's I will take a little look first. Thank you. Right. And I'll take a scene. I'm going. Okay. You find something and you want to say,、um, "Excuse me, do you have this in a bigger size or a smaller size?" So for that, you're going to be saying, "I'm、um, going." Now that mgai, remember, can be thank you, it can be excuse you, it can be a lot of different things. So mgai, li jin, yao mo dai di, li jin yao mo dai di. Now I have to say something here first about this one. Li jin, li is li gong, right? Li gong, go gong. Remember the this and the that video. So the ni or the li, n and l again can be interchanged. The li li gong. Is this? You could also say this. Li gong yao mo dai di. But when you're talking about clothes in Cantonese, they have a specific particle, or、um, particle, yeah, that goes with clothing. So if you're talking about a shirt, it's li jin sam, just like yao yi sam. The same pronunciation as the letter, the, the letter, <laughs> the number three is sam. So a shirt is sam. So li jin sam. You're not saying this three. You're saying this shirt, okay? Li jin. So if you, if obviously if you're holding up the shirt, you don't have to say li jin sam. You don't have to refer to this shirt, just this. But instead of saying the li gong, you're going to be saying li jin. Jin is the particle、uh, for uh, clothes, uh, shirts, shirts. Keep it to shirts now because there's a different one for trousers and pants, okay? So mgai、uh, li jin. 誒呢件有冇大啲？呢件有冇細啲 ？Okay. Now you've not told her exactly what size you want. Okay. So they might ask you, well, how how big? How small? Right. 誒、uh, 要 is want. So technically, it's like 你要 you want what size? But you don't really have to say the you. Just want what size? Or just 幾大 ？Right. 幾 is how many? 幾大 ？And it goes up. 幾大？ Gay side, okay, but the yield usually they'll put yield because、um, like you want what size you want,、uh, yeah, you want what、um, how big or how small. You gay die, you gay side, okay. So you'll hear that a lot, and your answer will be well, I think maybe XL or XS. Now the reason I chose those are because if you remember in another video we did the thigh、um, jong side. Thigh is big, zhong is medium, sai is small. So thigh, 
is that low tone thai. Zhong is the high falling or high tone. Zhong. And then sai is right in the middle. So thai, zhong, sai. You get all three, <laughs> all three levels. Thai, zhong, sai, right there. If you want to say XL, like, uh, I think XL is okay. Eh, o lam, eh, o lam is I think, okay? Ngo, lam, eh, o lam, ga, ga dai. The ga is that high falling or the high tone ga. You remember we were doing the different tones with the GA words? Ga and ga and ga, okay? This one is your, do you remember which one? Which would this ga be? It is the ad, the ga dai. You're adding to the large to make extra large. So ga dai and ga sai, okay, is your x small and extra large. Okay, so I've changed the whiteboard with a few other um, useful phrases. And again, I apologize for the glare. I'll try to subtitle it down below so you guys can see as we're going if it's difficult to see. And I'll move over a little bit. Um, alrighty, so you're in the shop. You think maybe an XL. Uh, here's some other useful phrases that you might want to say. The first one is, it's too small or it's too big, okay? Um, you don't really have to refer to what you have. You could say like, you know, leaking, right? Again, this shirt is too small or too big, but you don't really have to. All you really need to say is Thai. Thai is two, right? Two. Thai sai or Thai dai. Leaking Thai dai. Leaking Thai sai. Okay, so Thai is your two. Uh, too much, too many. Thai sai, too small. Thai dai, too big. The next one, maybe it's perfect, right? Ngam ngam ho. Ngam ngam ho is it's perfect. You repeat the ngam ngam ho. Ngam ngam ho is it's perfect. Another one is I don't like it, right? And om zongi. You don't really have to say the it in English. You wouldn't really say I don't like. I guess you could, but you normally would say I don't like it, right? I don't like it. I don't like this. I don't like whatever. Um, but in Cantonese, you really just om jongi. Uh, you wouldn't really repeat om jongi liki. You can, but you don't. You usually don't have to. And um, remember, the shorter the better. So om jongi, I don't like it. Ngo um jongi, om jongi. Okay. Um, now in English, I had a hard time trying to think of what to say about this one because in English, like you know, when you think you like something and you see it and then you put it on and you're like, it's just not me. It's not my style. It doesn't look good on me. It's not right. You know, there's a lot of different ways in English to say this and a big shout out to, I know someone, um, I know maybe a few of you are watching this to learn English, like going the other way around. And so, yeah, I put on the board, um, it's not for me, meaning it doesn't look good on me. Um, it's not right for me, okay? And in Cantonese, you could simply say ngam ngo, ngam ngo. Ngam is like just or right, so it's not right for me. It's not, it's not, it's not for me. Okay, and something else I wanted to point out was that the um, ngam ngo, this ngam is the same as the ngam ngam ho, okay? It's all the same ngam. Okay, so the next one is um, you're with somebody and you want a second opinion and you're going to say, do you think this looks good on me? Right? Uh, the me at the end is your question particle that expresses like extreme suspicion. Like there's just no way you think it could be possible. So is like you're expecting a, um, a no answer kind of thing. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so you could also say Ngam ngam mo, ngam ngam is your way of making a question, remember, by repeating that ngam, again, the ngam is the same as that one and the same as that one. <laughs> okay, so legota ngam ngam, ngam do you think it looks good on me? Right? And maybe that person is like, I don't want to offend you, but I don't want to um, say yes or no, so I'm just going to say it's up to you, right? You make your decision, lei wa la, lei. Wa la le wa la, it's up to you. Okay, literally, it's saying lei is you and wa, lei wa, 
wa is um, say, lei wa. So this is also useful if you're, for example, uh, deciding where to go to eat dinner or you're something like that. And you just want to tell the person, what's well, up to you where we go. What movie you want to see, up to you. What restaurant you want to go to, it's up to you, right? Lei wa, lei wa la is up to you, okay? You say, it's your call, you choose. Um, and this one, maybe you say, hola, okay. Hola, eh, oh my la, I will buy it. Oh my, my is buy. Now remember this one, my is going up. It is the low rising, my, because if it is my, that means sell. So again, I don't know why they chose throughout history to have buy and sell, which are exact opposites, be so similar in just tonal difference with the my and the my. So that's one to look out for. I hope this was helpful. It's just a little starter to get you started when buying clothes in Hong Kong. Um, I will do a little bit of an extra video about the different uh, the different particles that you need to use. Remember, we just did gin, li gin, for a shirt. If you've got pants, it's different, and if you've got other things, it's a, it's a different one. So I think I'm gonna go over some of those in the next little short video for you guys, okay? So I hope you watched that one. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like it, subscribe, and leave me comments below, and I'll see you again here on my little Cantonese corner. Bye. Hi again, it's Sue Marguerite. Thoughts of Lisa Thai on the little Cantonese corner. This is going to be a very short video just to go over the clothing particles. It's going to go together with the shopping for clothes video that I just did, and so let's take a look because now if you're if this is your first introduction to these clothing particles, you know that uh, gao is your Go to <laughs> the go to particle when you're talking about something, and if you don't know what particle to use, then you usually use the gao, like li gao, gao gao, right? Li gao is this, gao gao is that, okay, in a general sense. But when you break it down into individual items of things, uh, the can in Cantonese they give it a different particle and not the gao, okay? So let's take a look at some that refer to clothing, okay? Um, if you're talking about a coat or a shirt, you're going to be using gain. All right, gain. For example, you've got one jacket. Um, yakin lao, yakin lao. Lao is like coat. Um, lao. Okay. Yakin lao is one coat. Uh, sam gin sam, sam gin sam. That is three shirts. Okay. Same sound for the sam number three and the sam for shirt. All right. Sam gin, uh, sam gin sam is three shirts. Now this is interesting because if you were to say sam go sam, right? Sam go sam. Do you know what that means? It's completely different from three shirts. But sam go sam. If you see my money video, then you know that sam go sam is three dollars and thirty cents. So if you're saying that <laughs> I all you sam gin sam, I need three shirts, and all you sam go sam, I need three dollars and thirty cents. So it's completely different there. Okay. So sam gin sam is three shirts. If you're talking about a skirt, a dress, or pants, um, oh, sorry, the glare is so bad. Let me move this down a little bit. Can you see? I'll just have to keep moving it around. There you go. Okay, so if you're talking about a skirt, dress, or pants, these are long, long things, and you're gonna be using the heel. Heel, okay. So for example, this dress or this skirt, li uh, tiu kwan. Li tiu kuan instead li go kuan, right? Li tiu tiu is your um, is your particle for that. Um, kuan is skirt or a dress. If you really want to be specific and say you're talking about a skirt and someone can't see what you're talking about, then you could say bun zi kuan. Bun is half. Bun zi half half of a dress is a skirt. So bun zi kuan is one way to say a skirt. Just like in English, there's different ways to say skirts, like an A line or a mini or that kind of thing. But um, just suffice to say, if you're in the shop and you're talking about a skirt or dress, you can simply say kuan, okay? Um, fu is pants, okay? Um, Yakil fu is one one pair of pants, I guess we'd say in English, we'd say pair, right? But in Chinese, you use the um, the heel, yakil fu, okay? Um, if you're talking about shorts, short is actually dun, right? Dun, that mid-rising dun, so dun fu, are shorts. That dun is so <laughs> kind of weird to say, I think, but dun fu um, are shorts. So 
誒、呃、一條短褲。長 is long， so 長褲 is long pants。But usually pants are pants, right? So unless you're saying "dun fu" and you just say "fu," then people know that you're talking usually about long pants, right? But if you want to be specific, "chen" is the long, so "chen fu" are long pants.、Um, hat. If you're talking about a hat, it's not "ga," it is "dan." Yet "dan," right? Li dan. This hat. Li dan mo. Li dan mo is.、Uh, move this up again. Sorry for the noise. A li dan mo is your hat. This li or li or ni ni dan mo is your hat.、Um, a pair. If you're talking about a pair of something, except for a pair of eyeglasses, then you're going to be saying dou, right? Yat dou is a pair. Lang dou is two pairs. Sam dou is three pairs. Okay. So a pair of something. For example, you've got a pair of socks. This one mut is socks. So go dou mut. Are those socks? Okay. Again, in Cantonese, you don't have to worry about making it plural. The ga just stays singular, or it just stays the ga. It's not singular or plural. It's just ga doi mat, right? Those pair of socks, okay, or that that pair of socks, right? You wouldn't say those pair of socks. <laughs> My English,、um, those pair of socks. Would you say those pair of socks or that pair of socks? You can't say that pair of socks. Those pair of socks. Let me know in the comments. Okay, moving on.、Um, glasses, as mentioned, it is different. You use full, same sound as the pants. Full, full. Okay. 呃，我副眼镜，眼镜 is your glasses. So, 呃，我副眼镜 or 呢副眼镜，眼镜 Okay. 呢副眼镜。And again, last one is suit or set, and it's. 套一套，兩套，三套，四套，五套。Okay, 套 is your suit or a set of something.、Um, 一套西裝，西裝 ，sorry down here. 西裝 is your suit, a suit of clothes.、Uh, so 一套 would be used if you're talking about、uh, the pants and the jacket and whatever else comes with your suit. It would be 一套 Okay, one, one set. Alrighty, I hope this was helpful. Is there something to refer to if you want to remember quickly、uh, which one to use、uh, when you go shopping? So happy shopping! I'll see you next time here on my little Cantonese corner. Bye.